Okay, problems 15 and 16. So Tommy was solving the triangle below and made a mistake. What did he do wrong? And I'm going to ask you to think about this for just a second uh, because I think you can figure this out. So pause, take a look at what he did in his setup and tell me what he did wrong. Okay, so welcome back. Um, what he did wrong was this is our angle of reference right here and tangent is opposite over adjacent. What he did was he did adjacent over opposite. He should first have put this in the numerator, the opposite, and then this in the denominator. So instead of tangent of 21 over 28, um, he should have done tangent of x equals 28 over 21. Then when he takes tan inverse of both sides, again, tan inverse and tangent will cancel out, so we just get x. And then with your calculator, you do tan inverse of 28 divided by 21, and you would get x equals 53.1 degrees. Right, so his error was instead of doing opposite over adjacent, he did adjacent over opposite. Okay, last one. Tommy then continued the problem and set up the equation cosine of 36.9 degrees is 21 over hypotenuse. Now let's go back to his picture because this one depends on it. This he's calling the hypotenuse right here. So cosine of 36.9 degrees equals 21 over h. By solving this equation, he found that the hypotenuse was 26.3 units. Did he use the correct trigonometric ratio here? Is his answer correct? Why or not? Why not? So pause for just a second and look at everything that they're giving you here. Look at the diagram in problem 15 and see if you can figure out whether what he did was correct or if he made a mistake. All right, so let's take a look at it. Did he use the correct trig ratio here? So again, we're gonna go back and look at this. So he's using, for the reference angle that's given, he's using adjacent over hypotenuse, which is cosine, all right? So did he use the correct trig ratio here? Yes, all right, adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. Is his answer correct? And the answer to that should be no, because he got the wrong answer right here in the last problem, but he continued to use it, right? So this angle right here is actually not 36.9 degrees, like he's saying, it's actually 53.1. So did he use the correct ratio? Yes, he used cosine, or the correct trig ratio, yes, but it should be cosine of 53.1, not 36.9 he would have gotten 21 over h. All right, so pause. If you didn't get this far, pause and see if you can figure that out. All right, I'm gonna use one of Fred's five favorite tricks here and just interchange those two right there. So this is the same thing as h equals 21 over cosine of 53.1. And then use the calculator to just type that in, 21 divided by cosine 53.1 gives 34.97. When you round that, it should be 35. All right, so that is the correct answer. Again, because he made an error in problem 15, which he then carried over to problem 16. Okay, um, you can finish this video right here, and then uh, we still have more from um, proving. We're going to do problems 1, 2, and 5 in Valdez.